Kraft have just announced a $12.2 million Series B round. Today, we're going to overview what's new with Kraft and what do they have planned for the future. So, Kraft have announced an autumn update with a whole slew of announcements, and the first was one around their Series B. Now, if you don't know what Kraft is, it's basically a personal documents application that is turning into a Teams document application, which allows you to create beautiful looking documents. It's not as advanced as say Notion is, which you may have heard about, but it does offer a pretty reliable alternative to apps like Google Documents at the moment. And they've built some pretty reliable applications that have won multiple awards on both iOS and Mac. Now, they actually secured a Series A funding back in April 2021. That was a year and a half ago, they secured $8 million. And now Series B has introduced $12.2 million to help support their efforts in expanding to businesses. I wanna go through a few updates. You can use the timestamps if you want. And if you're new here, welcome, and please do subscribe to keep productive. So back to school announcement. They've announced that students can get Craft Pro for free for five years as a license, which is pretty impressive. That means that students can have access to Craft for a pretty extensive period. And even better, than what we've seen on a lot of other accounts that have announced this like Evernote and Notion in the past. Now, probably one of their biggest announcements and updates have been Windows. Now, Craft is already available on iOS, Mac, and has been available on a beta on web. They're introducing Windows, and this is a huge update because a lot of productivity apps that tend to specialize on iOS and Mac tend never to update to Windows. We've seen apps like Bear, eventually starting to evolve into the web audience and things like that, but struggling to really approach the Windows market. And Craft are bringing it to Windows, which is a great addition to the lineup. They're also bringing what they're calling Web 1.0, which basically means that the beta is now ended and you can use Craft for web. So making it pretty accessible on iOS, Mac, web and Windows, all available for free to get started. But they also probably in the future planning an Android application to complete the set. Now in their announcement, they also stated that they hit 1 million users that have installed Craft in the latest updates. And including in those statistics, they also said that 5 million plus people have viewed, shared craft documents, which is pretty decent for the general market. Um, and um, in general, people are starting to become much more aware of this application. They've also shipped over 500 new upgrades, improvements, and features that they've delivered and added 50 free templates to their template gallery, which seems to continue to extend. And you can tell from their website is their expansion into the business market. It looks like they want to expand craft for business over the next years and looking at how it's used in the workplace. Apparently the new funding puts us in a great position to deliver a cross-platform business grade experience for our customers, as according to their website. And they've put a lot of effort into their business pages, actually stating that they collectively are pretty good option in terms of notes, docs, file storage, and web publishing. So it looks like they're trying to come to a sort of matchup of all of those applications in one. Imagine a sort of Evernote for notes, docs for Google Docs, file storage for Dropbox and web publishing like you have on WordPress. So pretty interesting mix in the market. And to be honest, I'm pretty excited for what they'll bring because Craft have done a pretty good job at their start, but I didn't think that they'd almost become one of these applications. To be honest, this is probably the biggest leap of any productivity application market that has launched in the last five years. It was pretty obvious that Notion were after sort of a pretty bolstering start, but these guys, from what I know about their sort of background, have really ramped things up and are sort of going quite aggressive in this market, which seems a much smaller market than Notion is. That's why I'm what I mean by that. And it's pretty interesting to see. I'm not sure they're gonna come after the likes of Notion and things like that, but definitely after a very distilled market of those sort of notes docs, file storage, web publishing type users online that want to combine all of that experience together in one place and in a reliable place because that's what Craft has built their, I think they've personally built their audience on. But chasing a Teams market is going to be pretty interesting. We actually used it for Teams 
at, um, at when we were starting Bento. And it actually was pretty decent for that. But they actually didn't have any Teams offerings then. And they seems to have really evolved over the last year. So I'm really excited to see what the future of Warcraft will be about. I'd love to hear your predictions and also whether you use it as a day-to-day -day application for man managing your personal documents or your team documents below. Thank you so much, folks, for stopping by. Please do subscribe if you're brand new, and I'm sure you all can take advantage of some of our craft videos that we post here on the channel. Thank you very much, folks, and I'll talk to you all very soon.